What's up, MFers? Here's our home for the week. We are staying at Mr. Mike Iaconelli's place. And when I pulled in here last night, I could not believe what was in this garage back here behind me. I got a lot of tackle, a lot of fishing stuff, but a whole different level. You, you guys will see us in the truck and boat, the, the badass Toyota with the Bass Cat all week. But today's video, let's just real quick, let's let's go inside the, the man cave here because it's probably the most epic one I've ever seen in my Before life. Before you go in, just gotta tell you one thing. I'm gonna admit this. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> I'm a hoarder. The right kind though. Yeah. Now see, th this is great because this isn't even mine. This half of the shop is my son's sh uh, area here. So at Vegas the Hammer. Yeah, Vegas the Hammer took over this shop. Here's Vegas the Hammer. Yeah, you want you want to run us through? Vegas, what do you got here? Talk, talk about your boats and what do you got so, over here? Oh, my shelves. Your shelves? Yeah. Those are my dad's rules. Yeah. Look, Your baits? Yep. My boat. Tiny boat and kayak, mm -hmm. side by side. You got it all dialed in. You got a tricked out tiny boat. Tricked out tiny boat. Looks good. This was key for me. This part of the shop. Uh, when I was when I was thinking about what I wanted to do, having a work area was key. You know, and like you, I love to tinker with stuff. I love to see the action, tank test stuff. I you like know, that. I like that a lot. I just, you know, this is a cool area for me because I get to play around and experiment here. And Vegas does too. Vegas likes to create a lot of different baits here, so. You got some, some secret stuff. I've been looking at this the last couple days. You got some things in the works. I do. Kind of, kind of interesting. You There's guys will probably be seeing that in some future products. There's some good stuff coming, you know. Dude, I get criticized. I know you have a lot of rods and I get criticized <laughs> for having a lot of rods. But when I was building the shop, you know, they're like, well, we'll build you, we'll build you rod holders individual rod holders. I was like, no. So I need, work. I need lockers and you know, I store them by action, you know, spinning to casting, you know, by length and action. So dude, it's nice because you go through stuff. You know, I can pull back in from a, a, a stand of two or three tournaments in a row and replace the rods that went down. You For know? sure. Yeah. And you got, these are all Ike rods. All Ike Every rods. Every single one of them. 90% of them Ike rods. Um, Ike Revos. A lot of Abu Garcia reels, same thing, you know. Uh, I go through a lot of reels as well. Reels will go down for whatever reason, mainly because I'm rough on stuff, but can replace them, can repair them. I can grease them up here, so that's cool too. That's awesome. Yeah. This stuff down here, so you, you look around, so a lot of this is just excess bulk that I keep up top. So this is harder to grab, so I keep that stuff up top. But there's some good stuff up there too. If you really start to look, you're gonna see Berkeley gripper jigs, which they don't make anymore. Yeah. You're gonna see wiggle warts. You're gonna see some old stuff. Uncle Josh pork up there still in that corner. So there's some stuff, but this is, this area is the stuff where it's stuff I don't use a lot. Uh -huh. And I kind of forget what's in these boxes right, right. and it's fun like going back and you know it's like blast from the past like look at this like these are normans i can't remember the last time i threw a norman and you got all of them old ones dude if you're a lure collector yeah. you know about the yellow-eyed normans look at that right there there's a yellow-eyed norman these things are all we're talking about 80s uh, you know and there's boxes and boxes of this stuff it's great it's great to go back and look at it i mean you don't have like a swim bait box or a swim bait bag. You have swim bait tubs. Swim bait tubs. I love swim, swim baits. Bait, swim bait, swim bait, swim bait. Through swim lines, bait, baby swim ease. Bait. More swim baits, gulp, max scent. I know this right here, a lot of people hating on me right now for having a tub of max scent I can't even pick up. But uh, <laughs> I'm, a bit, I'm a bit of a hoarder, you know? So again, that hoarding tendency is there. So dude, all this stuff is stuff I don't necessarily use every day. Uh -huh but I like collecting, you never know. This side of the shop is my grab and go side. Right. So we, this is- We saw a couple sneaky boxes on the wall over there that oh, we yeah. might have to get to. We'll, we'll open okay. those up for you guys, maybe a little bit later. Right. But, but this, this, this is, is- This is so, this is so organized. Yeah. I mean, you have everything ready to go. You're fishing, what'd you say, 250, 300 days more a, a year? A lot, in the high 200s, 300 days a year, you know, to be able to have stuff that you can grab and go. You know, so a lot of times I make it back for a couple days the rig gets pulled in. I'm low on DT10s, I'm low on power bait, I'm low on jig heads. It's organized, I can grab it quick. And you know? I love this part too. You have all the flambos to put them in. Flambos all for types. days, flambo boxes for days, you know, create a new box. A lot of times for an event, 
I have my main boxes, but I'll create a box for an event. So I'll have a Lake Fork box, I'll have a Lake Okeechobee box, and it's real easy to just create boxes on the fly. Um, you know, I used to work at a, uh, I used to work at Dick's Sporting Goods. I managed a tackle store there for a lot of years. So this brings me back to my roots, a little bit of merchandising, a little bit of retailing. I you think know, this has more than any Dick's Sporting Goods I've ever been to. <laughs> more tackle. <laughs> oh, oh God. It's great. So more storage up there. Of course, we put in a TV. I lo love watching old episodes. I watch a lot of times. I'll put in old Bassmaster shows. I'll put in just old MLF FLW shows. I'll review them as I'm working on tackle and missile jigs, mock stuff. And then this is really another key. This this, this is, is cool. a key for me. And this is something uh, not every fisherman can have that because that, no one's going to have that much tackle. The one percent of people will, but. Everyone could do this. You can and this do this. This is awesome. I wish I had one. Yeah, spooling station. It's nice. I've got them horizontal, vertical rack. I mean, all this stuff came from like a, a Lowe's or Home Depot. You could put it together super easy. When I pull up my front deck of my boats right here, so I could tie on, I can knock 20, 30 rods out at a time, spool them up. Line spooling station is critical for me. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. Very critical. For sure. Yeah. More storage. Yeah. A lot of storage, a lot of bulk stuff. You know, collecting, can't stop collecting stuff. Got my kayak stuff separate. We've got, these are these are actually rods. We, we do a lot of donation rods. So a lot of these rods are given to us. We'll take the rods in, we'll repurpose them. If it has a bad guide, we'll fix the guide. And these are the rods that get sent out to kids. So a lot of Ike Foundation stuff that comes in and out of the shop as well. So right. it's this is good. This is the good stuff right here. Spike it, work kayak stuff, giant. The place you have an inflatable, uh, we've got a Toyota thing we do with the kids casting where they can cast into little competition style, uh, hit the holes so we can blow that thing up for the kids. What else, Vegas? What else we got in the shop? Is that it? Yeah. You got a lot of dude combos over there. Yeah, Ike dude combos. They're good ones. $30 combo. It's great for the kids. What else we got, Vegas? Is that it? Okay. Okay. Let's check out some of these. Uh -oh. uh, these kind of jumped out at me uh -oh. a little bit. Ooh. This one right here, I uh -oh. opened it and I about, I don't know. This is oh, ridiculous. God. These are just collector's items, folks. He doesn't use any of these Ooh. ever. You're going to have a lot of Bagley's guys that want to kill me right now. <laughs> But these are old square bills, and I believe it or not, there are a time and a place for these for me. But these are a lot of these are special ones, yeah. you know. They're reserved for tournaments. Um, you know, there's just there's something about an old balsa crankbait. I can't describe it. It's but like nostalgia too, though. Yeah, a little bit of nostalgia. So there's some good that's, ones in that's there. That's a pretty pricey collector box. It's a good box. Right it's a good box. But look at this. Six cents? Six cents. He's got a six cents box. Look at that. Specifically, deep six cents box. Yep. Um, this one was a little ridiculous, too. Ooh, you I'm picked the two open. best boxes. I did, yeah. In the whole shop. Well, I went through all of them. To find them. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's in here? What's in yeah, here? Yeah, so this is a combination. These aren't all, yeah, they're not all good old ones, but there are There's some really good old ones mixed in. Greens, yeah, so for my wart, wart guys, you know the good old ones, like yeah. the classics. You know, I, I I look at them on eBay. I see what they go for. Yeah. I could sell them, but Some they're custom paints too. Custom paints. There yeah. is a time and a place when you want to throw these good old original wiggle warts. You know, and uh, getting the Ozarks. You fished air a lot. Yeah. There's a time and a place for that wiggle wart. You know, I like this box. I like the smell of it. Smell that box. Smell that old lure smell. Smell it. Smell it. You don't want to smell it, dude. It smells so good. I only like power bait. <laughs> you only like power bait smell. Okay. <laughs> Not the wiggle wart smell. It's, it's been fun, dude. It's, it's, I'm a collector and um, I love collecting. I've got every single crankbait I've ever owned since I was his age. I never threw a single one away. So I've got crankbaits from the 80s to now. I'm still collecting and uh, it's fun. So it's part it of the is. sport. It's, cool. it's, it's almost a hobby for me. Uh -huh. And the bad news is Vegas the Hammer is going to get all this one day. You're going to have to sort all this crap out one day. It's going to take you like a year, bro. He's gonna sell it all for he two might. bucks. He might. He might sell it. <laughs> that would be a shame. <laughs> it's been fun, dude. It's been fun. This is my dream shop. You know, um, just love the sport. Love working out here. You know, love playing with baits. You know, it's been fun. It's incredible. Well, won't keep you any longer, dude. I appreciate it.
Thank you. Thanks for coming and seeing the shop. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let us know what else you guys want to see. And we got several videos with this guy coming the rest of the week. Catch you later. There's one right there. Oh, God. It's a tank. It's a tank, bro. Let's get that net. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah, man. Dude, Probably. Jesus, Cole. It's a good one, though. It is a good one. Wow. Whoa. God. Dude. Oh, shit. It's a good one. Uh -oh. oh, my God. It's a... It's a... Oh, it's big. Man, dude. No, no, man. Get that. That's like a giant for this river. Oh, my God. Get that. Yes. Ah!